Hey guys, we are in the basement and today we're going to talk about a game that was released in 1996 by Capcom. But you know what? This game is not a video game. You know what? I know everyone pretty much knows Capcom as a video game company. You know, they made Street Fighter. They made Mega Man. They made a lot of games in the 80s and 90s. But did you know that they also dabbled in pinball in the mid 90s? And this was kind of like Capcom Chicago or something. Not really the same as Capcom Japan. But anyway, the game we're going to talk about today was released in 96 by Capcom. And it is a pinball game called Break Shot. But the game is not here. It is in my friend Dan's basement. So why don't we get in the car and take a ride over to Dan's arcade. All right, here we are in Dan's basement, and the game we're going to talk about today is ACDC Premium. So, Dan, we're going to unbox this, right? Soon. What do you mean soon? Soon. A few more days. Come on, dude. You have an ACDC Premium sitting in a box here, and we cannot open it? Uh, we'll get there. Dan, come on, dude. You know what? Why don't we, why don't we do Break Shot tonight? Seriously, we're not gonna open this game? No, we gotta keep them waiting. You have an ACDC Premium. So this game just arrived from Stern in Melrose Park, Illinois. Um, you have serial number 239076. Um, it has USA Coinmex. It is the premium version. And so this is what it looks like when one of these games comes in, uh, is shipped to you from the Stern Pinball Factory. But we can't open this because Dan, for whatever reason, is waiting. I'm a douche. Okay, he's a douche. So we're gonna do a, uh, a video of this unboxing and the gameplay soon. But first, D Dan is demanding that we do a video review of Breakshot. And here it is, this is Breakshot. This was a game that was released by Camp, uh, Capcom, excuse me, in 1996. What's interesting about this game is that they were basically trying to recreate the kind of EM, the electromechanical pinball experience using modern hardware because what we have here is a very flat kind of uh, pinball play field that you would see on an EM pinball machine but with a DMD a dot matrix display uh, modern you know PCB type solid state hardware but the play field and the gameplay is very much like something you'd see on an EM game and it's actually a very neat game it's actually a very rare game they only made a thousand of these and uh, Capcom actually, you know, the artwork is kind of, I think, kind of interesting. You've got Butterface right here, and uh, and you know, there's some ice cubes going between the boobs, ice cubes, yeah. which is nice uh, because this guy. Do we have a name for this guy? Uh, Brad. Brad. So evidently, like Brad a made a shot here that knocked uh, the glass out of her hand. You could see the ice cubes flew through the the air and landed in her cleavage which I, i'm not, is that appropriate uh, uh i guess so sorry <laughs> and then you've got this girl over here who i think is a little more attractive than this girl that what is this yeah i don't Look know the horse face <laughs> and uh the ball bounced off her butt yeah. so there's some weird little sexual type stuff going on and what's even weirder is that the game this back glass is in the back glass. It's like some weird Escher painting or something. I don't know can I, can what's I point going out one on. Thing here? Yeah, why? Um, every single Capcom game yeah. has a monster, the same monster. It's like a little Godzilla guy in the back glass. It's kind of like a hidden thing. That, really? That was their thing. Oh, I see and it right he's, here. He's up in the fern, yeah. Look at that. But he's in every single Capcom game back glass. Is that, is that right? Yeah. I never knew that. Yep. Sorry, so here he is. Here's Godzilla. Did, did Capcom do the Godzilla game? No, that was Sega. Okay. Why do they put Godzilla in there? But he's, yeah, he's in there. And he's in like a little fern up there, yep, so. Yeah, he's hidden. So this is a pretty cool look. I, I think it's a good looking game. I actually kind of like the artwork. Um, on the, on, actually, this chick is the best looking of all of them. Why wasn't she on the uh, back glass? Yeah. Huh? And the, the chick on the side there, that's very uh, similar to the artwork from Kingpin. From Kingpin, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this chick's kind of hot, and uh, she's on the, the, the side of the head. And then the artwork on the side, you know, it's okay. It's a logo. It's almost like a Ren and Stimpy font. 
Yeah. It is. Yeah. That is the Ren and Snippy font. As as a graphic designer, I know that. <laughs> I've, I've, I've done much with the Ren and Stimpy font back in the uh, late 90s. Um, so, yeah, it, it's I think it's a pretty cool-looking game. Uh, the play field, you know, again, they were trying to emulate kind of the EM experience. And uh, there's not... I mean, there's no ramps. First of all, you notice that right away. I mean, this is a single-level play field. But uh, it's okay, though, because... There's a lot of interesting things going on because basically this in this game you're playing uh, a game of pool and it actually has eight ball, it's got nine ball, and then what's the third game? Uh, rotation. Rotation, which is what? Is that just like a progressive? I'm not you, really a pool guy. Okay, but is, is rotation where you basically need to get one, then two, then three, and I, something like that? I or? believe so. Okay, yeah. so there's, there's three games of pool in here. Um, I guess after you complete the third game, which is rotation, you go into a wizard mode. Is that yep. right? Cutthroat countdown. Cutthroat countdown. Okay, so what? I say that wrong? Yeah. Cutthroat countdown. <laughs> We've been drinking, by the way. <laughs> so the game has uh, three pop bumpers. Um, it has this toy in the center, and this is where you lock the balls. Um, and basically, there's a little uh, pop up thing here. What do you want to call it? A, a metal post, post. A metal post that pops up, and we've got three scoops. And this is where you lock the balls uh, to earn multi-ball. And basically how it works is you hit the ball up the center here, and as it goes in, this post pops up, and you're going to lock the ball into one of these scoops. And then once you put a ball on, on, all, on, on each of the scoops, it's going to release all three to start multi-ball. Right, but when the, when the post comes up, yes. it will release the ball out of the scoop. That's right. And in that post, it'll act as a captive ball. Right. Because it, it's, it's like kinetic energy. This post comes up, and the ball's on the other side of it, and when you hit the post, it kind of vibrates and uh, hits the ball back into one of the pockets. Um, and then there's also a captive ball up here. Um, is that like a Newton's cradle or whatever yeah, they call it? Yeah, because the first ball is completely... It, the, the first ball uh, isn't loose. It's like right. it's like attached to the play field. I think my uh, Theater of Magic had that. Yeah, very similar. Yeah, I think they call it a Newton's cradle or right. something like that. Um, and then we have a bunch of drop targets. And basically, when you start the game, you're going to be either solids or stripes, okay? At least in regards to 8-ball. And uh, so if we were stripes and we want to get the 15 right here, we'd have to knock down all three of these drop targets and then hit the target that's hidden behind them to earn the 15. Um, and basically that's how you're going to get all of the stripes or solids is by hitting the drop targets and then the target that's behind them. So I, is there anything else worth mentioning here, Dan, besides the cleavage and the nipples? And by the way, there are a lot of nipples in this game. Uh, Dan was telling me about the, uh, I guess when you do a match, yep. um, you're going to see some cleavage and then some nipples. Is, are they going to show that right now? Or? They, they might. It kind of cycles. and. So these, these guys really like the uh, the whole boob thing, which which is okay, I guess. Let's see if we get it here. Maybe we'll see some... Uh, On the... Some boobies. Yeah. Is this the... Uh, no, complete three pool games to play. Is it coming now? It's coming. Cutthroat countdown. For big points. Yeah. So there's like a little match feature. Um, oh, here it is so right here. here it is, yeah. So this is the animation you'll see during a match, and if you match, no. you'll get the nipples that come out, um, which is important, because we want to see digital nipples. Um, all right, so I tell you what, why don't we take off the, uh, the Playfield glass, uh, set up the tripod, and let's, let's play a game of Break Shot. Sound good? Yeah. All right, cool. Let's do it. Okay, we have the uh, tripod set up. Now, Dan, you have this set on free play, right? Yes. Okay, so we're going to start a game. Break shot. Well, let's play I think we should turn the audio yeah, a little bit. Yeah, let's turn it up a little bit. Uh, Where's your volume on this, Dan? There is a... We're going to turn the volume up because... Uh, oh, no, you know what? We want you to hear it. It is the... Uh, yeah, it's the third of the There you go. Nope. All right, so we're we're in the like test menu. It's like Seinfeld music. Yeah, it's totally like Seinfeld music. All right, so we we have the game. We turn the volume up. So here we go. Welcome, oh. player three. Ah, oh, come on, dude. What is this crap? How do we get out of this? All right, really. We're gonna turn the game off and turn it back on. All right, let, let's try this again. All right, so you've got uh, version 1.3 software. Break shot! Playing 8-ball. 
That's total Seinfeld music. Yeah. All right, so here we go. There is a skill shot in this game. Uh, if we were to uh, not shoot it too hard, the ball's gonna come to this flipper and we wanna do that bank shot there. Correct. All right, so let's try that. And we were successful, and but we didn't do this skill shot. All right, so you can see right there, the uh, post came up. The ball is stuck there. So now I wanna hit this post and then vibrate the ball into one of the uh, pockets. You got stripes. All right, so we just earned stripes. You so got the nine ball. right now we want to aim for the stripe targets. One thing that's worth mentioning is that the score, they kind of tried to emulate the score reels as if this is an EM. So we exposed that target if I hit it. All right, I just got 15. No. No, I didn't? No, it's still blinking. All right. shot there. It's, very, it's a great toy. Trick shot! Alright, so yeah. we've, we've just locked the ball there. The post has gone down. Hmm, the so, ten ball. What is that noise? It's flipper humming. It, they have it. So what am I aiming for right now, Dan? Well, you're aiming for any of the uh, blinking ball shots. So okay. the 14, the 15, you got the 11 up top. All right, we got our ball right. there. Yeah, so now shoot for the break shot. Hit the post to lock it. I, I do want to hit up there, right? So I can catch up one of those balls. Yep. You got the 11 ball. Well, you can see in the front here, you have 9, 10, 11. So you still need 12 through 15. Okay. So it's 12 and 13, I have all targets. Gotcha. Why does it say you go for the flipper cue? Super cue. Oh, super cue. So, super cue. If you create a I want ball this though. I want to right. lock the ball here. You lit the super cue. See the lanes? Lit? Okay. If you shoot that lane, yep. it will let the ball pass all the way through as a loop and it will spot the next available ball. Okay. You, which right now is only the 15. I want to lock that ball. There we go. Trick shot. All right, so we've locked two balls. All right, we're doing good. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Why did it lock that? Oh, we start multi-ball now? Multi-ball. All right, so it says break shot frenzy. And the jackpot is the center scoop. All right, so I want it. Oh, I got it. Got Jackpot. Shoot the B extra ball. Extra ball is lit. Extra ball is the captive new ball. Okay. You got a jackpot again? Jackpot! I, got, I would have... Whoa, the ball caught up up there. Wow, damn. <laughs> extra ball! I just got an extra ball. And it, wow, if there's a problem, go and find one of the other 999 big shots. Right. <laughs> Jackpot. So I'm still multi ball. Multi yeah. ball's over. But you completed eight ball, so now you're actually playing nine, nine ball. ball. Alright, so like Dan said, eight ball is over, we're now in nine ball mode. So, so which ball am I on? I'm on two, according to this, right? Yep. I already got one, I want to get two now, so where's two? Uh, Two's up top and it might be out because it's not going to but a super cue will get super it, will light it. Okay. You got the two ball. I got the two, so now we're on to the three. Well, maybe they don't light in this mode. Where well, is anyways, three? the three is up top as well. You got the three ball. Ah. So if you hit the super cue targets, yeah. that's the way to go because it makes it easier to spot oh. what you need. Gotcha. Do it again. So try to do the skill shot again. All right, so we're gonna do the skill shot again. I'm gonna lightly. Nah, no, no, I blew it. Super cute. You got the four ball. You 
got the five ball. Ah! <laughs> oh, wow. So that was our first ball, right? That was a free ball? Yeah. 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 It says complete two more pool games for the countdown or something. Super, Super cute. Super cute. Yeah. The seven ball. You got the eight ball. All right, so yeah, we potentially have a ball locked there. Ah. <laughs> this game's actually kind of surprisingly deep. You know, considering how the play field is, is as minimal as it is. Yep, for how basic it is. You got the one ball. They crammed a lot of rules in there. I really like that it has more than one uh, billiard game. Yeah. It's not just eight ball. And you're actually on to rotation right now. You finished nine ball yeah, somewhere near the end of that last one. I did? Yeah. All right, so we're done with nine ball. I have one more ball? Oh, wow. No, that was it. That's it. Yeah. All right, I think you get the idea. The match sequence. We got the match oh. thing. Oh, we match! We're going to see some nipples! Nipples! Oh, no, no, no. It, what happened? It does either the nipples or the moose. I don't want to smoke a moose. Yeah. Ah. All right. Well, I guess there you have it. I mean, that is a uh, break shot. Uh, that's a pretty cool game. I got to say, Dan. I think it's fun. Yeah, it's... And it's, you know, it's rare. It, it's it'll... weird. You know, the... the I like these oddball games like this because everyone's got the same pinball games, yeah. you know? Why well, have the same pinball games? Why not have something different and unique? And I think Break Shot is that. And uh, so let's take a look at the play field here without the glass. You can kind of clearly see. We've got three palm bumpers. Uh, we have some drop targets. Here's the big toy in the middle um, with the post that comes up. I really like that. Um, I love the drop targets because... You know, I mean, pinball at its core is hitting drop targets and pop bumpers, and you gotta have that stuff. And it's funny how you know I have a bunch of games in my basement, and, and very few of them have had drop targets. Yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah. And and to me, that's one of the core pinball, you know, things to have in a pinball game. So really cool game. So all right, guys, that's it. That is Break Shot. And you know what? The next time we come down to Dan's basement. We are going to be opening up this ACDC Premium, and uh, I cannot wait to play this game. I mean, if you ask me, this is probably the best Stern game, maybe ever. Did, can we say that? It's Yeah, probably. You know, I had Simpsons, and I always considered Simpsons to be the best Stern game. I, I'm not into the comic book shit, you know, the X-Men's and the Avengers. Um, what, what would you say is the best Stern? Uh, not considering this or anything else. Second to this? Yes. May, probably Lord of the Rings. Lord of... Really? Not so much the theme. But Dan, the I, that was kind of boring, that game. It's it, a great game. It was so dark. It's so dark. I like Simpsons. <laughs> Simpsons was so much cooler. Spider-Man's excellent, too. Spider-Man, yeah, it's a good Steve Ritchie game. You know, I, I just... I think that, you know, Keith P. Johnson did a great job on Simpsons, and, and Lord of the Rings... Eh. I, I do feel that this is Steve Ritchie's best game ever. It... Okay. Yeah, I will... All right, well, we'll find out. So the next time we come to Dan, which... I think we'll be next week. Beginning of next week. We are going to open up this ACDC Premium and do a full-on unboxing game review of ACDC Premium. So stay tuned to that. All right, guys, let's go back to the basement. And Dan, thanks for having us again. And let's go. Which years later, even when was this in 8080? Uh, 60 no, it was 60 about 07. Years later, ended up writing a uh, thing for a all right, there you have it. That was Break Shot. I hope you guys enjoyed that video review. You know, I love Dan's Pinball Machines, and we're going to be going back there soon to talk about his ACDC Premium. Let me tell you, that is a badass Stern Pinball Machine, and I cannot wait till we open up that box and get that game set up and play it. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for subscribing to my little channel. And if you've never subscribed, now would be a great time to do so. Go ahead, click that subscribe button. I release new videos every Sunday. And also, did you know that I do a podcast? It's true. I release, actually, we record live 
my podcast, Video Game Outsiders, every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern at allgames.com. The podcast is called Video Game Outsiders at videogameoutsiders.com. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Later.